Hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, is a condition where the force of blood flowing against the arteries is higher than normal. Over time, this can cause damage to the body organs such as the heart, kidneys, eyes and brain. When the systolic pressure written at the top is 140 and above, and the diastolic pressure written below is 90 or more, a person is said to have hypertension. How common is hypertension in Nigeria? Studies have shown that about 40% of Nigerian adults are hypertensive. The prevalence increases with age, but individuals age 50 and above have a higher risk. Only about 20% of people with hypertension are aware, and rate of acceptance of treatment is less than 50%. What are the types of hypertension? There are two types of hypertension according to their causes or risk factors. The first is primary hypertension which has no definitive causes. Most cases are hereditary, acquired from parents or passed down from one generation to another. Lifestyle factors also contribute to the development of this form of hypertension. These include aging, high salt intake, obesity, alcohol, and excessive stimulants intake like caffeine. The second type is secondary hypertension. It is caused by underlying health conditions or medications. An individual has a disease that in turn causes the blood pressure to go up. The hypertension can develop suddenly and cause a higher blood pressure than that seen in primary hypertension. Causes of this type of hypertension include kidney disease, heart disease, which can be from its muscle or the conducting system providing electrical discharge, diabetes, use of illicit drugs such as cocaine, abuse of some painkillers, such as ibuprofen and its likes. A lot of people believe that stressful events like rigorous activities, thinking, loss of loved ones, lack of sleep and so on are the causes of hypertension. This is a misconception. Stress usually makes an already existing high blood pressure to go higher. If such events were to raise a normal blood pressure at all, the rise will be minimal and the blood pressure returns to its normal value once the stressful event has passed. 